Good morning everybody, Picking for Profit, coming to you with the sales update video. This sales update video is for the month of November. Yes, November has just came to a close. There is yet to be snow outside, but no complaints here. So let's get right to it. I sold a lot of things this uh, month, so it might be a lengthy video, but we'll make it through as quick as possible. So let's get started. The first thing I sold this month was a quick set smart code. These are the locks that go on your door that you don't need a key for. You just press in the, a code. I purchased this at an auction for $7.50. Um, it sold for $60 free shipping. A lot of the items I sell, I do include free shipping. I build the shipping into the price. So I usually um, make enough money to cover the shipping and it's all done ahead of time so I'm aware that some people don't like free shipping I choose to do free shipping you can do it any way you choose to do so this first item was a great profit keep your eye out for quick set locks brand new in the box the next item was this blu-ray supernatural 3 um, or third season um, I purchased this for five dollars at the flea market. Uh, original price tag was sixty four ninety nine. When I looked this up, they were getting around twenty twenty five dollars. I set mine at that price, waited, kept lowering it, kept lowering it. Nothing happened. I ended up selling it for nine ninety nine. So after I paid the two dollars and sixty cents to ship it uh, in fees, I really only made a couple bucks on this, but. If it was a movie I liked, I would have kept it, but I'm not into this, so at least it's gone. Okay, you know I sell a lot of cameras. Keep your eye out for one-step close-ups. Um, they're really hot right now. It used to be the SX-70s, the white ones with the rainbows, but I believe since Instagram changed their logo, it's no longer as sought after. So these ones I flip the same day I put on eBay. I sell mine for $24.99 free shipping. The reason I sell mine at $24.99 free shipping is because I sell them to the same person on eBay. You could probably squeak out $30 to $35 if you wanted to wait, but I sell them the same day I list them. Um, I do free shipping because I put on a few at a time and I send them all in the same box. So for each camera, I'm really only spending about $2 uh, for shipping and I have a great relationship with the buyer so um, I'm making money I leave them plenty of money plenty of room to make money and we're all happy so keep your eye out for Polaroid one-step close-ups I purchased this at an auction I go to um, you've probably seen it in the video in some of my videos uh, that I posted before uh, this is an Atari Yes, we all know what an Atari is. 2600 with two games brand new in the package. The games I actually had, uh, I paid a buck a piece for, I believe. Maybe two bucks a piece uh, at the flea market. I was saving them for when I got a unit. This complete unit had no games, so perfect time to toss those in. I sold this for $45 plus $13.99 shipping. I put all this into a... Uh, large flat rate box so it was a tight fit but they did fit and I had I believe we'll say five dollars into the games I believe they were two bucks a piece maybe less so we'll say five bucks for the games and I had 17 into the unit itself so not a huge score but I had about twenty five dollars into it so I made about thirty bucks I believe somewhere around there so really happy with that. Here's another good camera. Uh, these are a little bit older. You can see on the back right here, right where the eyepiece is, there should be a rubber cushion. I've noticed that the person I sell these to does not mind at all, probably because they can just buy them and they probably have a ton of them to put on. So Sun 600 light management system, hence the LMS. Uh, these do really well. Also, 
Again, most of the cameras that you'll see I sell for $24.99 unless there's a flaw with them, a major flaw. Um, yeah, as you can see in the title, I even put no eye cushion, strap, tested. Um, all the keywords are very important when selling these. Again, you could probably squeak out 30 or more dollars on these, but I sell them to the same person and I've told them I'll sell them any camera I have for $25. So they buy most of them. Again, here's another close-up. Uh, not in as good of condition as the one before, but these are all in excellent working condition. So um, the person I sell them to buys them right up and is more than happy to pay the $25. Again, I know you guys are probably sick of seeing cameras, but I'm showing you everything I sell, and I sell a lot of cameras. Uh, this month I've sold a lot of cameras as well as last month just because I was going through my personal collection and selling all the doubles and triples that I had. So right now I only have a couple more doubles left. Um, I still have my complete collection. I'm not willing to sell any of the ones I don't have doubles of yet. So this one, um, it wasn't selling for some reason at $24.99. I lowered it to $22.99 and it sold. So... Uh, didn't make as much on those, but most of these Polaroids I have, um, I get for under $5. Very few of them I pay a little bit more, but most of them are between 2 and $5. So um, always at least 10 to $15 profit uh, per Polaroid. Here we have a Homedix uh, back massager. This one heats up. I believe, yeah, Homedics Percussion Action Handheld Massager with Heat. Um, Homedics Massagers do extremely well. I always sell them. I used to get more money for them. I'm not sure if the market is flooded or what's going on exactly. Um, maybe I'm just not picking up the right ones. But I purchased this for, I believe, 3 or $4 at the flea market a few weeks back, and I sold it for $24.99. Again, free shipping. Be careful on these because the bigger ones are quite heavy and they have to go priority most of the time um, and you'll get into $10 shipping real quick. This one I think I got under for like 6 or 7 bucks, so I have about $10 into it. I made about 15 profit. These Polaroid One Steps are the ones I'm talking about. I used to get on Amazon almost $100 for, but... The market has definitely died out, and I choose to sell them on eBay now, um, just so I don't get whacked with that 30% fee or whatever. This one I sold for $30, free shipping. Uh, this one I actually sold to someone in Michigan, a different buyer. Uh, it's actually from about 20 minutes from my hometown, so that was pretty interesting. This is probably going to a college student. Uh, they said it was a gift for their kid. And the city that it was sent to is a big college town. So I'm assuming that this is going to a college kid, which makes sense. Keep your eye out for these white cameras with the rainbow stripes. They're not as popular as they were, but they do still command pretty good money. I got this just for a couple bucks at a flea market, and it sold for $30. These deer figurines, um, at this auction I go to, at the end of the auction, if something doesn't sell, they sell the whole table. Uh, I purchased the whole table for $5. There was about five sets of different brass figurines. I purchased them. I purchased the whole table for $5 uh, for the brass and a couple other items that they had that I thought I could sell. The brass I actually was just going to scrap, but when I got home and looked it up, the figurines seemed to sell. So these deer figurines um, were about three inches, maybe four inches tall. Really cool. They sold for $14.99, free shipping. I put these in a first class mailer. They were a little heavier than eight ounces. I believe they were like 10 or 11 ounces. So it was $3.50 to ship instead of the $2.60. Totally okay with that. Um, about $10 profit in those. Again, here's another Polaroid, Autofocus 660, in excellent condition. Uh, I sold this to the same buyer I sell all of them to, or the majority at least, $24.99.
Here again, another one. You've seen this green one before. I got $22.99. This one, I upped the price back up to $24.99, and it sold. So I'm not sure what was up with that first one, um, but this one sold to my original, the people I sell to, um, and they left good feedback on every single camera they bought. Here's a prime example of why you should just take good pictures. This is a really good back massager. I purchased this at the flea market for just a couple bucks. You can see it's a little beat up, but as long as it works and the heat unit works, people don't really mind. Um, I put this on for $24.99. Uh, actually, I put this on for like $35 and it didn't sell, probably because of the crappy picture. I shot this with my cell phone the same day I bought it. Um, I was in a rush feeling lazy I wanted to get it online so this uh, one the bad pictures definitely affected me I ended up lowering the price $24.99 sold it with free shipping unfortunately so I have about ten dollars in the shipping because this was quite heavy I put it in a large uh, padded envelope and sent it priority um, I did wrap it really good so uh, they have received it no returns This was one of my coolest finds I found in a while. I got this first for a couple dollars, I think three bucks, maybe two bucks at the flea market. These are Gigapet. Um, this was really big when I was a kid in elementary school. You feed it, you walk it, you use the rest, you make it use the restroom, whatever. Um, I know on Amazon these sell for really big money. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't have the alien. I didn't want to create a listing, so I put it on eBay. I got $40 for this with free shipping, cost $2.60 to ship first class, so um, I made about $30, $35 profit, really happy with that, and it was cool to actually get an original Gigapet, still, still, still sealed in the original package, so that was pretty cool. Here's an Impulse, Polaroid Impulse, these are probably one of my least favorite Polaroids to purchase, but they do seem to sell. I sold this one for $22.99. Again, I sold this to the same buyer I sell all my cameras to. Um, I put it at $22.99 because the strap was missing and there might have been a pretty large scratch on it somewhere. But I'm okay with uh, $22.99. I've had this camera. I don't even remember where I got it, how much I paid for it. A lot of these cameras um, I've had for quite some time. So I have several of these still left. This is probably the only camera that I have multiples of left, so I'll get rid of those uh, sometime soon. This was an amazing find. Uh, I purchased this at um, Jamie's Flea Market, which you guys have been to with me before. I purchased this for $6. Um, you might have seen this in a haul video. I cannot believe I purchased this for $6. On Amazon, this is bringing crazy money brand new sealed in the package like 400 bucks this is brand new but the edge uh, the left edge has been cut open you might be able to see it here yeah you can't really see it it was disclosed in the um, details but the corner the edge the left edge is has been cut open or the package is separated not enough for the game to be or the CD player to be pulled out, but I sold this for two hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. I purchased this again for six dollars. Um, I knew when I seen it when I seen it, and the lady was asking uh, ten dollars. She kept insisting that I just make an offer. So she had this one plus a Panasonic, which I sold as well. Um, she said make an offer, make an offer. I said twelve bucks for the pair. When she accepted, I knew I hit gold. I didn't scan it. I just knew. I've sold these used for almost $100, high 60s, 70s. So when this was new in the package, I didn't see the rip yet, so I was really ecstatic until I held on to it and I seen it was broke open. But still, for $6, uh, I made about $220 profit. Uh, well, with fees, they're going to take about 20 bucks. So about $200 profit. Really happy with that. Keep your eye out for any Sony... Uh, handheld units and this buyer actually emailed me and said hey do you have any other Sony products I did so I sent him two other handheld units for 10 bucks a piece 
So really I made about 250 profit on this guy. Sony Vintage Electronics, amazing. Again, here's another Sun 660. Uh, you've seen this picture before. This isn't a duplicate. It is um, just a second camera. Again, $24.99. These slick shirts, you've seen me purchase these at the flea market uh, before I got three of them, I believe. It was three, maybe four, three. Um, this guy, his last name was Slick, so I believe that's why he bought these shirts. I'm not sure if he has anything to do with the company. Uh, it's probably just his last name. But he purchased this one, which was $24.99 with free shipping. I got these for 5 bucks for all three of them. So I hit jackpot on those. And he purchased the second one. Uh, he purchased $19.99 plus $7.99 shipping. I was just kind of... Uh, testing, doing one $24.99 free shipping and one $20 with shipping. So they both sold to the same guy the same day. So my experiment didn't really get uh, any justice. But this $7.99 paid for both shirts being shipped. So I made about, yeah, $40 profit on those two. So really happy about that. This was a bust. I purchased this several months ago, maybe almost a year ago, um, just a brass Levi's belt buckle. I seen that they were selling for like 30 bucks. I paid like a dollar for this. Uh, really happy that I was going to be able to make that much money. I listed it, no bites, lowered it, no bites. It ended up selling for $9.99. Um, so not really worth my time, but after fees and everything, we'll say about $5 profit. At least it's gone. I purchased this cup at um, Unique. It's a brand of savers. No longer exists. Went out of business a couple months ago, unfortunately. I purchased this for $2.99. Again, these were selling for big money. It's an expensive cup. It's inside. It's glass. It's Companion. Right here you can see Quirky Companion Infusion. You put fruit in there. And it makes fruited flavored water. I ended up selling it for $16 free shipping. Uh, shipping was just a few bucks. So I made about $10 profit on that. These do really well. They're vintage uh, self-timers. So you wind it up. You put it on top of your camera or where your shutter releases. And it presses the button for you. These are vintage. Keep your eye out for those. They do extremely well. You can get these for a dollar most times. I have so many of these from buying lots of cameras um, that I just have them sitting in boxes. So I decided to put a few up. This one sold pretty much the same day, maybe in just a couple days of listing. Came with this really cool leather case. Sold for $14.99. Uh, it was under $3 to ship. So about $10 profit on that. Again, here's another close-up, $24.99, yep, right there, so we won't talk about that much. Here's another one of those brass figurines. Um, this one was a poodle, extremely heavy, I think it was like, I don't know, almost a pound. Uh, it did ship first class, but for $3.50 or whatever it is. So that was about $10 profit on that. Here's a sterling silver ring. Um, totally adjustable. It slides to be whatever size you want. Really cool. It's got like a black onyx on top of its head. Great detail. It's not super old, but it is vintage. I sold that for $20. I have just a couple dollars into that, so we'll say about $15 profit. Keep your eye out for interesting sterling silver rings. The weirder, the better, the more hard to find. Um, the higher price you can usually get. This you've seen in previous sales update videos. Um, I purchased a box full of knives, uh, these tire gauges, all kinds of stuff um, for I believe five dollars for the whole box. So this is completely uh, profit. This is complete profit. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. You can see I've sold two already. I still have one more. Um, so that's $15 profit, minus fees, of course, so we'll say $13 profit. 
anything new in the package, make sure you just look it up on eBay because if you only have a couple dollars into it, you can usually at least get 10 to 15 this was a brand new puzzle I purchased at a flea market for two dollars. It looks like it's scratched right there. It's not. That's part of the design. Uh, this is double sided so this side is a blue Mustang and this side's a red Mustang. One puzzle, two designs. As you can see right here the package is a little caved in. That's why I didn't sell it on Amazon. Um, but I got 20 bucks for this free shipping it just cost a few bucks to ship, so we'll say $15 profit on that. Ink, this was expired. Um, yeah, usually I put it expired up in the description. This one I didn't. Uh, but even if it's expired, if, as long as it's not several years expired, it probably still works. This person actually left uh, good feedback on this, said it worked great. Um, always make money on ink, so... I paid a dollar for this at the flea market. It was on the ground. Again, I didn't sell it um, on Amazon, maybe because it's restricted, but B, because the package, you can see it's damaged and it was expired. So uh, I made about $10 profit on this after all fees. This was a watch case, gold fill. Most of the gold fill is worn off. Um, but I sold this for $20. I have just a few bucks into this. Uh, not a big money maker for me um, because it was so worn out. But the jewel still there, or whatever. Not the jewel, but the glass case, whatever the face. Um, it was complete, so that was nice. Sold it for twenty dollars. They left positive feedback, so we got about ten to fifteen dollars profit in that. Old watch cases do extremely well, so keep your eye out for those. Uh, just make sure that you look up the name if you can find one on there because not all gold pocket watch cases are created equally. Here the solitaire I got this at a Goodwill for I wanna say under two dollars a dollar eighty nine or something weird. Um, this is a big screen poker usually you see this at solitaire I've sold them um, before in my videos you've seen them they're usually yellow this one I sold for $14.99 free shipping about ten dollars profit after shipping and fees here is a, the third set of brass figurines I sold these deer are much smaller than the previous ones these are just a couple inches tall and they sold for $14.99 again it's all profit uh, minus two dollars and sixty cents for shipping so we'll say about ten dollars profit in that and if you look at the keywords if you're selling couples like a guy and a girl put in romance man cave cabin these keywords seem to sell good for me so um, that's just a tip for me you can use it if you want you can ignore it if you choose I got a box of these at an auction I have about I don't even know 30 40 of them maybe they're all brand new. I've sold a couple of them. Uh, I only listed 21 in this listing. I have several listings of the same item on different backgrounds just to change it up. I uh, sold this for $10. I got the whole box for 15 bucks, so I have about 50 cents into each one. So this is really after shipping and everything. It's probably only $5 profit, but I am okay with that. I have several $5 profits to be made. This is really cool. It's a tribal piece. They're usually called Dancing Man. Um, you can see right here it's a three-legged man, if you want to call it that. That is what they're called, but um, yeah. Interesting. Uh, I sold this for $19.99, which is actually extremely cheap. Um, for some reason, it just wasn't selling at $29.99, so I lowered the price. It, it sold really quick at $19.99. Um, so whoever got this got a really good deal. I purchased this just for a few bucks. Um, so I made about $15 profit on this. Keep your eye out for vintage, um, Indian, Native American, sterling silver. It all sells, and it all sells extremely well. Here's a Polaroid. 
Uh, this one did have a broken strap, I believe. Um, I sold this for $19.99. If it didn't have the broken strap, I would have got more. But I only had a couple bucks into this. I actually picked this up on offer up. Uh, now that I say that, I remember paying $5 for this and I had to drive like 20 minutes. So again, not really a great profit. After gas and everything, I'd say only $10 profit. Um, but it's all right. This is extremely old as well. Um, I got this about, I don't know, six months ago, maybe more. I traded someone on offer up this plus a little bit of cash for an N64 system I sold. Um, so, and when I, it didn't have a charger. So when I bought my DJI Fandom 4, um, I told the guy, hey, I'm offering, or I'm willing to buy this DJI Phantom 4 today if you can toss in a charger for my notepad so I can fly it. He talked to his manager, got this $20 charger tossed in. So, word to the wise, if you're ever at a big box store and you're trying to get something extra tossed in after you're spending $1,500 to close to $2,000, they will toss in uh, something to go your way. So don't be afraid to ask. Uh, they will always say yes, and I do this all the time. So that is about, I don't know, I would say it's all profit just because it's so old, and uh, which I know it's not all profit. We'll say about $40 after fees and everything, uh, but for me and my mindset, I'm saying $40 profit. This clock, or it's not a clock, a therm thermostat, a room thermostat, um, I got this in a box lot, I believe, at an auction, so I have only a couple dollars into it. I ended up selling it for $24.99, free shipping. It costs around $3 to ship, maybe less, maybe $2.50, first class. It is extremely small, um, so we'll say $20 profit on that. I got this fog solution at a Goodwill for just a few bucks, I think $3.00. Um, I thought I would sell it for more around Halloween, but I think I waited a little bit too long. So I lowered the price and I got $15.99. So about $10 profit. These games, um, there's nothing really that good here besides the 20 questions. That's why they're lotted together. Um, if I have, obviously, like the solitaire or the poker, if I have something that... I can get 10, 20, even on up out of one game. I won't sell that in a lot usually. All the other small ones, I paid 50 cents for the majority of these. Um, so I lot them together and I sell them that way. I got $20 for this free shipping. Uh, I put this in just a small envelope. I price uh, shipped this for under $350. So that's about $15 profit on that. So make sure if you have a bunch of handheld games like these, you just lot them together, but go through all the names and make sure there's nothing uh, of significant value in there. Because a lot of these games, uh, depending on the titles of them, can bring some serious profits. This was a beautiful ring, sterling silver, uh, with seven turquoise. It was just it, beautiful. I cannot believe it only sold for $22.99 uh, free shipping. This is probably a $40 I could have got $40 if I wanted to wait an extremely long time, but it's a beautiful ring. Um, whoever got it, uh, I know they left positive feedback and said they loved it. So, uh, $22.99. Again, I got this for maybe $5, so about $15 profit for me on this, but it's sad to see it go for so cheap, that's for sure. These caps, you've seen... Uh, in my haul video from Brewery Flea Market, I purchased this plus a bunch of Hot Wheels for $10. There was, I believe, a dozen, at least a dozen of these caps. This was the only three and a half inch one, and then there was about 11 or so three inch caps. Of course, the one three and a half inch cap sold uh, $8.99. It did fall under the three or the two dollar and sixty cents first class, so. Again, I only made about $5 profit, but I'm going to do that 12 times, so I'm okay with that. 
here are the gold fill glasses that I always sell. Um, I don't believe that pair in the center is gold fill. Nor that that one on the bottom. But um, anyways, these sold for eighty dollars. There are nine pairs, so that's less than ten dollars a piece. But like I said, I don't believe these two weren't marked. So really, it's about twelve dollars per gold fill glass. I purchased all of these in a box for under ten dollars from a guy. Um, so that was a great pickup. And yeah, free shipping again. These uh, didn't fit in a first class, obviously. It was heavy with the cases. But it was definitely under $6 because priority padded flat rate is uh, 6 bucks. So we'll say 5 bucks for shipping, plus I have 15 into them. So about 65, 60 to $65 profit. Not too shabby. Gold fill glasses, they are always marked GF or 1 slash 10. Um, great, easy pickup. This I got in a box lot at the auction. I got this plus some headphones plus some uh, speaker that's worth about 100 bucks in a box lot. I paid $30 for the entire box full of stuff. I sold this monitor, this blood pressure monitor, which is restricted on Amazon, hence why I sold it on eBay. I got $15 free shipping. I made about $10 on this item. This Miller hat I paid 50 cents for at the flea market. Oh no, 25 cents actually uh, at the flea market. I got several hats. I think I got like 10 of them for $2. So I sold this for 10 bucks. Plus it was first class $2.50 to ship. So I have about three bucks. About six after fees, about six dollars profit on this. Not a huge money maker, but it's gone. This one I purchased at the flea market for a dollar. I purchased this because it was elephant skin or whatever that design on the bill of the hat is. Um, the problem with this hat is it's youth, so youth obviously doesn't bring as much money. I thought I'd get twenty bucks for this at least. I ended up getting ten dollars for it again. Uh, about $5, 5 or $6 profit. Again, another close-up. Uh, these things saved my life when I sell them. It's a quick 25 bucks. Here is that second CD player that I purchased for $6. Remember, I got the Sony for 6 and this for 6 um, The Sony I sold for almost $250, $230. This one I only sold for $115. Not complaining, I say only $115. Um, it is Panasonic, it's not um, Sony, so name brand does mean a lot to the people buying these. This one, the package was extremely well. Um, I believe the bottom was cut a little bit so it could stand up flat or so. I don't know why they cut the bottom. But 115 bucks for six, that's over $100 profit, so I'm okay with that. That means for $12 between this one and the other one, um, I made almost 400 bucks, which is mind blowing. I bought these cookie cutters or cookie molds a while back. As you can see, I was kind of lazy. I didn't even wash this one. There's some coffee or something on it. Um, I bought three of these. I believe I got them for a dollar or dollar ninety nine each. Uh, again, these brown bag cookie molds usually sell for more than ten bucks. Not sure. Uh, if it's oversaturated or I just didn't have the right ones, not sure. But I sold this for ten dollars. So after shipping and fees and everything, I only made about five dollars profit. This was in that game lot I purchased several months ago. Um, I probably had a dollar into this game. Shipping's two dollars and sixty cents. So I literally only made about a dollar or two on this. Not really worth my time or my energy. Uh, but it was on here and I just kept lowering the price, lowering the price, and it finally sold. So at least it's gone. This sterling silver spoon I purchased for a dollar at the flea market when I bought another spoon, which I showed you, and a camera that I sold showed you. So I made about seven dollars profit on that. This bow I've had for a while. Uh, it looks like it's just made out of like a two by four carved into a canoe probably 
made for a kid, just a cheap kid's toy. Um, I call it folk art, I believe. Yeah, folk art, patriotic, toy, canoe, great keywords. I ended up selling this for $9.99. I literally probably only have a quarter, maybe 50 cents into this. So, um, not a huge money maker, but 10 bucks, I'll take 10 bucks. The sterling silver bracelet, I purchased just for a few bucks. I don't remember the exact cost. Um, sterling price, it probably is only five bucks worth of sterling. But I sold it for $17.99. It was handmade, it was signed. So, uh, great piece, they got a great deal. Um, made out $15 profit on that. This was an amazing find. Uh, I purchased this for I think they wanted 10 I offered 5 I got it for like 7 or 8 bucks. It is a notepad. You can see you put the paper under there. It's for an insurance company. Really cool. Um, There's only one other person online selling this. And they were selling just the top piece, the badge, for something crazy like, I don't know, 50 bucks. So I originally put this on for $150. I know it sounds crazy, but it's extremely old. Um, there's not another one on eBay, and I thought I could get it. I kept lowering the price, lowering the price. You can see only one on eBay. I ended up selling this for $29.99, and the guy said he is in insurance sales. Thought it would be cool in his office. He already left good feedback, so for $29.99, I made about $20 profit on that. Um, it was really cool. I would have kept it, but no use for it. Again, more gold filled glasses. Always do well on these. I purchased these at Rogers Flea Market the other day. Um, I think I actually showed you in my video. I purchased these for two dollars. One, two, yeah. Uh, I think I gave them ten bucks maybe for all six of them, and I sold them for sixty. So that's about fifty dollars profit. Not too shabby. I'm telling you, these gold filled glasses are gold. Here, uh, this wasn't really for profits. I paid retail on this. I paid almost a thousand dollars for this when I bought it uh, several years ago, probably three years ago, four years ago. I recently switched from Pentex to Canon, so I finally got a wide-angle Canon lens equivalent to this. Um, so I sold this one. I ended up, I actually went to the camera store to trade this in on a new lens, um, and they wanted to give me $200 for this. I told them it's worth way more than that. Uh, they said, okay, we'll give you $250. I said, no way, I'm, I'll just take my chances. So I could have probably got close to $500 if I wanted to wait, but selling this lens for $400 um, covered the majority of the new wide-angle lens, so not really considering this profit but it did sell for 400 bucks here is a brown bag a teddy bear I thought this would sell for more than the dinosaurs but it didn't 999 260 shipping about five dollars profit here are the headphones I got with that uh, blood pressure monitor um, I got a nerds one and another candy brand one I forget skittles maybe I don't know um, so this is most, uh, we'll say I got $5 into these headphones, um, so I sold them for $19.99 plus a few dollars to ship, we'll say I got $10 into them, um, so about $10 profit on those, not huge money makers, but they'll make a great Christmas gift for somebody. Here is a giant nutcracker, um, kind of weird to say, it is... I believe it's like four inches long. Yeah, almost five inches long. Really big. This sold overseas. Um, I go through the global shipping program. So for shipping for me, it did ship uh, first class. So I have about 350 in the shipping. Um, I don't even know what. I have less than two bucks, I'm sure. Maybe two bucks. So we'll say I have $5 into this. Uh, so about $15 profit. This iZone Polaroid I've had for a uh, couple months now. Really cool. I remember this from when I was a kid. These are really sweet. When they first came out, 
every kid had one. You pulled the little thing out and stuck the stickers everywhere. Um, or stuck the pictures everywhere. This is brand new sealed in the package. Vintage. I had this for $29.99. I kept lowering the price. It sold for $19.99 free shipping. It did ship first class. So we have about a... Uh, after I, I bought this for a few bucks at the flea market. So I have about $10 profit. Here I have a leather Harley jacket. Um, I believe this was my father's. I'm not, I believe I wore this home one day. Um, it didn't fit him when I had my motorcycle. It was cold out. I actually like this jacket. I put it on here at 150 bucks. I didn't think anyone would buy it, which I wasn't uh, too mad about. But someone did buy it, so I had to sell it. Uh, 150 bucks, so not too shabby. Again, I took a lot of pictures, zipped, unzipped, back, tags, everything. Um, so make sure you take quality pictures. It's worth it. The Superman toy, he stood about three inches tall. Just a small guy, uh, sold for twelve ninety nine, free shipping, so about ten dollars profit in that. I don't even have a dollar into that guy, so uh, that's about ten dollars profit. This William and Sonoma copper pan. These copper pans do extremely well. Make sure they're not some knockoff brand or some chintzy copper. This is William and Sonoma, and there's also a six 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 bizarre brand that I've had really good luck with. Um, Unfortunately, the inside of this one was pretty shot, kind of rusted and dirty. Um, I got thirty bucks for this plus fourteen ninety nine. I purchased this for uh, I got this one plus a few more for five dollars for all of them. So this is pretty much all profit for me. Fourteen ninety nine. It actually only cost ten dollars to ship. So. Um, about 35 we'll say $30 profit after fees. Here I sold my first Pedal Pedalton uh, flannel. I'm not a huge clothes guy, but when I see a deal, I got to make it. Um, so I purchased this for $1.99 at a Goodwill or whatever it was. Um, I know it was 2 bucks. Uh, free shipping is sold for seventeen ninety nine. So we made about, I don't know, it probably cost six dollars to ship, maybe five. We'll say ten dollars profit on that. I got this at a Goodwill for, I believe it was four ninety nine, five ninety nine, somewhere around there. It was complete charger, remote, battery, everything tested, worked. I think I have pictures of it on. Yeah, you can see in this one, it does work. Um, really good, really good working. Uh, I sold this for sixty dollars plus nine ninety nine shipping, so about seventy bucks minus the shipping. So made about fifty dollars profit on this. Not too shabby. Vintage recorders do really well. Again, Sony is what you want to keep your eye out for, though. These movie reels, I tell you, they always do good. These are the 6-inch uh, movie reels, 8mm, 16mm, whatever you have. As long as they're metal, they'll sell. Um, I get about 10 bucks a piece per reel. Again, here I got 10 bucks a piece, $39.99. I ship these media mail, so it costs about $5, uh, maybe maybe less than that, like four, three or 4 bucks. So we got about... $30, $35 profit in those. <clears throat> and for the last item I just sold last night, um, I never offer best offer just because I've had too many people not pay uh, after they win and then it's just a headache. So I don't accept best offers, but if someone's serious, I've noticed that they'll email me and ask, will I take a best offer even though I'm not offering it? I usually change the ad to match their best offer they buy it now and that way they have to pay immediately uh, this person said their son wanted a CD player and they only had 50 bucks to spend or whatever um, so since this one did have some flaws it's in beautiful condition but the speaker was dented both of them were 
Um, this one's the major dent, the other one is much smaller. I lowered it to $49.99, free shipping. It'll cost about 10 to 12 bucks to ship. So I have $8 into this. I purchased it at a flea market. And I'll make about, I don't know, we'll say $30 profit on that. So that was everything for this month. Um, I've been slacking, so next month might not be uh, a very good month for me. i just been busy with uh, a large flea market, which I sold a lot of inventory from unfortunately I didn't have time to make a video I was uh, selling solo and it was a crazy weekend so no footage from that uh, sorry about that and I just been busy with work which I'm a photographer I shoot uh, real estate hotels a lot of architectural stuff so unfortunately uh, being busy with that takes time away from this uh, yes it is an excuse there's plenty of time to be listing and making sure I keep up on my eBay but I just haven't been really that motivated to since I had um, all that other stuff going on. So I need to uh, ramp back up and start listing at least 10 items a day again to make sure my inventory is strong. Right now I only have about 95 items in my store, which sounds like a lot, but a lot of it is stuff that I've listed that just isn't selling. Um, so I need to keep listing, keep listing, keep listing. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope you've seen a few items in here that maybe you've passed up in the past that now you won't pass up anymore. Uh, keep picking. Keep making that money. Thanks for watching and peace.